Today guys, we're going to be talking about freight trains in Grand RP. Now if you guys have ever owned a freight train, you knew they were pretty shit. You would have to give up all of these materials that were worth much more in the state for a much smaller amount of money. And in the past, you really couldn't make any profit off of them whatsoever. Most of the time, what people did just so they didn't lose that business was just select one task to do, I guess, and then just don't put any materials in. And by doing that, they wouldn't lose the family business. Nobody would actually do what the freight trains are telling them because they would just lose money doing it or it would just be a huge waste of time. But recently, the developers have changed it and I had no idea about this. First off, this is accessible to anybody in the city. All you need to do is pull up to a freight train location and take a look at what it tells you to do. So not only do these freight trains now give you cash, but they also give you the option to get some clothing. So let's take a look at this one. This one right here is saying you have to give these three things for $88,000. Now for cash, I'm gonna say it's not worth it because right now diamonds are still worth about 10K, which means that's 100 grand right there and you're only making about 88,000. So if you see any of the ones that give you money, I just wouldn't recommend doing them unless the prices of resources absolutely plummet. Let's take a look at this one right here. Once again, this one's for money, so we're just gonna skip over that. This freight train located right over here at the docks, if you flex your e-muscle, you can see you can trade all this stuff in and you actually get a shirt. And this is the shirt you get, a nice v -Lone shirt. Now my friends are telling me it's very rare and worth $25 million. Of course, when you do this, the items are untradeable, but you get a pretty cool item. So let's see what you have to do. Six diamonds, 196 kerosene, 342 perch, 36 pineapples, 164 kerosene, and 11 salmon. That's not bad. That is honestly a pretty low amount of stuff for a pretty nice shirt. So if you guys wanted to complete the task, all you need to do is just go and get those materials and you have to complete it by 20 hundred, I guess. And obviously that is server time. So if I wanted to do this, I have about five hours and 13 minutes to complete that task and I will get that shirt. Let's go take a look at some of the other trains and see if there's anything else that's uh, pretty nice, I guess. Okay, so all of the trains here except for one are pretty shit, but lucky for you, there are some more freight trains just over here near PD. So we're gonna head right on over there and see what we can get from those. Now, like I said, I had no idea the developers even added this to the game. I thought no changes have been made whatsoever and it was the exact same as it was before. You can only do the tasks if your family owns that train, but now anybody could do them. All you gotta do is pull up, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see what these freight trains have to offer. This one only gives money. Ooh, this one, we got a hoodie. Is it nice? I can't even check because it's for women. I'm pretty sure this hoodie though is actually an anti-social club hoodie. Uh, cause I think my friend just got it today, he sent a picture of it, it's the one with flowers on the back. And it seems to be pretty simple. Once again, 11 salmon, 600 perch, 700 copper, another 700 perch, 7 diamonds, and some gasoline. That honestly isn't too shabby, like, perch goes for about 30 bucks a piece, copper goes for about 30 bucks a piece, gas goes for about 100 bucks a piece, diamonds about 10k, and salmon about 10k as well. So really, that's not bad for such a nice hoodie when you think about it. Cause those anti-social club hoodies, the cheapest one I know of, goes for about... 5 million, I believe, so you're honestly getting a pretty good deal on it. And obviously, everything in the freight trains changes every single day. So once the server restarts, that's when you're able to start doing the tasks again, and obviously there are new prizes to win, including monetary ones. But like I said, the ones for money just really aren't worth it, so I would just skip past those. So today, there's only two good things for each gender. There's an anti-social club hoodie for females, and then there's a nice v -Lone shirt for males. Like I said, every day that stuff changes. So if you want to do it, like I said, it's not that hard to do. I could probably go and get that t-shirt right now. Like I said, it's really not hard to do. You guys saw the materials you need, and you could probably just go and buy them from people around the city, or just go and get them yourself. To get 11 salmon, it's really not that hard. To get 11 diamonds, that becomes a little bit harder. But at the same time, it's really not that hard to get diamonds. For the people that didn't already realize it, you could literally get diamonds instantly, which I'm kind of shocked on how they went up in price so much. You could open this crate right here for 20K. Let's open it. And if we get diamonds from it, we get a bunch of money back. Boom, literally first crate, we get 10 diamonds. That's worth 100 grand right there. And we only spent 20K. We could just sell those diamonds and make an $80,000 profit. But look at that. We just got diamonds. We can go pop it into that freight train, complete one of the tasks out of the six we have to do, and then move on to the other ones. Sadly, there's no containers for fish, which kind of makes sense. I mean, nobody really cares too much about fish. But honestly, it's really not that hard to get fish. Sometimes I do battle pass tasks where I have to catch 700 perch 
And I end up getting like five salmon from doing that, which is pretty great. And I get a bunch of trout as well. And obviously a bunch of perch and carp. So if you guys want to get some cool exclusive clothing, obviously, like I said, it's untradeable. So you're not going to be able to sell it to anybody. But if you guys do want to get those clothing pieces, just know you can go to the freight trains now and actually get it for a pretty cheap amount of money. Instead of spending millions purchasing the tradable version, you can go and spend at the very most like 400k, 500k, and then get that clothing item that you wanted. It's that simple. Like I said, I bet a bunch of you probably already know about this, but for the people that didn't, that want some cool drip, go check out the freight trains every single day and see what tasks they offer. Just pretty much make sure you do it before 1959 in game, because if it hits 20, you're done. So I'd recommend the second the server restarts, hop on, start doing the tasks, and if you don't feel like you're going to finish it, don't put everything into the freight train until you have everything, just to be sure. But anyways, that is pretty much going to wrap the video up. Just wanted to let you guys know about it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.